day 22 of Vlogmas and today we are going to show you how to do some dipped pretzel rods in chocolate and then we're going to cover them. So for this uh, little recipe you're going to need a double boiler, a baking sheet, some parchment paper, Ghirardelli melting chocolates um, and pretzel rods and your favorite type of candy sprinkles or you can get candy canes put them in a Ziploc bag and crush them with a rolling pin or you can put them into a food processor and you can roll them in some uh, crushed candy canes. So let's get started with this project. So step number one, you're gonna take a saucepan, you're gonna add two cups of water to the pan. Turn your stove on or your burner on, a low medium heat. Then you're going to add a double boiler on top of it. You do, do not want the water to be a rapid boil. You want it to slowly heat up and produce steam so it's going to melt your chocolate. Then you're going to take your cookie sheet. You're going to line it with some parchment paper. When your water starts to produce the little bubbles at the bottom of the pan, and you want to add back on top the double boiler and add your chocolate, melting chocolates. Then you want to take some scissors, open up your chocolate. Dump your chocolate in. So Ghirardelli also has a chocolate and they also dark chocolate and they have white chocolate. And then you're just going to continuously stir and as you see the chocolate is already starting to melt. Make sure you have a pot holder or something on. This is going to get very, very hot. And just continuously stir it as the chocolate melts. Now, unlike yesterday's recipe where we did the Hershey Kisses on the smaller pretzels, I should have used a different type of chocolate. I should have known better um, because the Hershey's are not going to melt by sticking them in the oven. They will melt enough to stick to the pretzel, but they do have paraffin in the chocolate, so that's what uh, stopped it from melting all the way. But this is a actually melting chocolate from Ghirardelli. So as you see, this is already almost melted. You do not want the water to be at a rapid boil. Just let it slowly steam up the bottom of the pan and this pan will get very, very hot. You can also use this chocolate to dip strawberries. It's another fun idea for the holidays. Okay, now that the chocolate is melted, you wanna turn off your, your burner. So you wanna take your chocolate Sit it on front of you on a trivet. Still melted. Lay that on a plate. And then take your pretzel rods. Open them up. And you're gonna dip the pretzels in chocolate. Like so. Cover the end of it. Get the excess off. Leave this end and lay it like that. So after you have all your pretzels laid out on the cookie sheet, you're going to take some sprinkles 
and you're gonna do like this, or you can put them in a plate and roll them in a plate. You could also take crushed candy canes in a Ziploc bag, crush them out in a rolling pan, or you can put them in a food processor. And if you want, you can turn them over, or you can just do it on one side. So then after the chocolate hardens, you're gonna have a chocolate pretzel with chocolate and candy. Now you can take your broken pretzels and roll them in the chocolate. And then some of the pretzels you can just leave plain chocolate. You do not have to uh, necessarily put candy on all of them. And you're going to have some broken ones in the bag. And if you want, you can just put the rest of the broken ones. Mix them in, let them absorb that chocolate. And then just spoon them out and let them dry. But be careful, chocolate still could be hot. Well everyone, we hope you enjoyed our chocolate pretzel treat for your holiday party or maybe something fun to make for Christmas Eve with the kids. You can follow us on Instagram at Adventures of David and Aaron. You can also follow us on Twitter at Adventures of DNA. And for Vlogmas 22, that's a wrap. We'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas 23. And we'll see you in our next video. And as always, everyone, remember, enjoy life. Make it an adventure.